So the next, so we are starting the new compound, ethylene oxide. Ethylene oxide, which is also known as oxyrane, is the organic compound with the formula C2H4O. It is cyclic ether. This means that it is composed of two alkyl groups attached to an oxygen atom in a cyclic shape that is circular. This colorless flammable gas with a faintly sweet odor is the simplest epoxide, a three-membered ring consisting of two carbons and one oxygen atom. Because of its special molecular structure, ethylene oxide easily participates in the addition reactions, opening its cycle and thus easily polymerizes. Ethylene oxide is isomeric with acetaldehyde. Although it is a vital raw material with diverse applications, including the manufacture of products like polysorbate 20 and polyethylene glycol that are often more effective and less toxic than alternative materials. Ethylene oxide itself is a very hazardous substance. At room temperature, it is flammable, carcinogenic, mutagenic, irritating and anesthetic gas with a misleading pleasant aroma. The chemical reactivity that is responsible for many of ethylene oxide's hazards has also made it a key industrial chemical that supports the living standards of advanced societies. Although too dangerous for direct household use and generally unfamiliar to consumers. Ethylene oxide is used industrially for making many consumer products as well as non-consumer chemicals and intermediates. Ethylene oxide is important or critical to the production of detergents, thickeners, solvents, plastics and various organic chemicals such as ethylene glycol, ethanol amines, simple and complex glycols, polyglycol ether and other compounds. As a poison gas that leaves no residue on, as a poison gas that leaves no residue on items it contact, pure ethylene oxide is a disinfectant that is widely used in hospitals and the medical equipment industry to replace steam in the sterilization of heat in the sterilization of heat sensitive tools and equipments such as disposable plastic syringes ethylene oxide is industrially produced by direct oxidation of ethylene in the presence of silver catalyst it is extremely flammable and explosive and is used as a main component of thermobaric weapons. Therefore, it is commonly handled and shipped as a refrigerated liquid. Ethylene oxide was first reported in 1859 by French chemist Charles Adolphe Woods, who prepared it by treating 2 chloroethanol with potassium hydroxide. The reaction is CH2Cl, CH2OH plus KOH, it gives CH2CH2O plus KCl plus water. Woods measured the boiling point of ethylene oxide as 13.5 degrees centigrade, slightly higher than the present value, and discovered the ability of ethylene oxide to react with acids and salts of metals. Woods mistakenly assumed that ethylene oxide has the property of an organic base. This misconception persisted until 1896 when George Braddock found that ethylene oxide is not an electrolyte. Its distinct difference with ethers, in particular, its propensity to the addition reactions typical of 
unsaturated compounds had long been a matter of debate. Only in 1893, the heterocyclic triangular structure of ethylene oxide had been proposed. The first synthesis method had long remained the only despite numerous attempts of scientists, including Woods himself, to produce ethylene oxide directly from ethylene. Only in 1931, French chemist Theodore Lefort developed a method of direct oxidation of ethylene in the presence of silver catalyst. Since 1940, almost all industrial production of ethylene oxide has used this process. Sterilization by ethylene oxide for the preservation for the preservation of species was patented in, it, in 1938 by the American chemist Lloyd Hall. Ethylene oxide achieved industrial importance during the World War I as a precursor to both the coolant ethylene glycol and the chemical weapon mustard gas. The epoxy cycle of ethylene oxide is an almost regular triangle with the bond angles of about 60 degree and a significant angular stress corresponding to the energy of 105 kilojoule per mole. For comparison in alcohols, the COH bond angle is about 110 degree. In ethers, the COC angle is around 120 degree. The moment of inertia about the principal axis are 32.921 into 10 to the power minus 40 gram centimeter square and 37.926 into 10 to the power minus 40 gram per centimeter square and for C as 59.510 into 10 to the power minus 40 gram per centimeter square. The relative instability of the carbon oxygen bonds in the molecule is revealed by the comparison the table of the energy required to break two carbon oxygen bonds in the ethylene oxide or one carbon oxygen bond in ethanol and dimethyl ether. The reaction the C2H4O gives C2H4 plus O cleavage of two bonds. The delta H is 354.38 kilojoule per mole. The method calculated from atomic enthalpies. The C2H5OH, it breaks to give C2H5 plus OH, breaking one bond. The energy involved is 405.85. The method involved is electron impact. The next CS3OCS3, it on breakage gives CS3O plus CS3 breaking of one bond. The energy involved is 334.72. It is calculated using enthalpies of radical formation. The instability determines the chemical activity of ethylene oxide and explains the ease of opening its cycle in addition reactions. Now, the laboratory synthesis. In laboratory, it is prepared, nitromethane is prepared by, di by dehydrochlorination of ethylene and its derivatives. Dehydrochlorination of 2 chloroethanol developed by Woods in 1859 still remains one of the most common laboratory method of producing ethylene oxide. The reaction is CH2Cl CH2OH plus NaOH. It gives CH2CH2O plus NaCl plus water. The reaction is carried out at elevated temperature. And besides sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, barium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide or carbonates of alkali or alkaline earth metals can be used. Chloroethanol in turn is synthesized using one of the following methods. By reacting ethylene glycol with hydrochloric acid, ethylene glycol, CH2OH, CH2OH plus HCl gives HOCH2CH2Cl plus water or by reacting ethylene with hypochlorous acid CH2Dol1CH2 plus HOCl it gives OHCH2CH2Cl. 
or by that chlorination of ethylene. CS2, double one CS2 plus Cl2 plus water, it gets HO, CS2, CS2, Cl plus HCl. The another convenient and old method of ethylene oxide synthesis is the reaction of an, is the reaction of an alkali with chloroethyl acetate. The reaction is Cl, CS2, CS2, COO, CS3 plus 2 KOH, it gives CS2, CS2, O plus KCl plus CS3, COOK plus water, H2O. With a high yield, 90% around, ethylene oxide can be produced by reacting calcium oxide with ethyl hypochlorite. Substituting calcium by other alkaline earth metals reduces the reaction yield. The reaction is CS3, CS2, OCl plus CAO. It gives CS2, CS2, O plus CACL2 plus water. In turn, ethyl hypochlorite is synthesized as follows. Cl2 plus NaOH plus CS3, CS2, OH. It gives CS3, CS2, OCl plus NaCl plus water. 